Hi everybody. Uh, today I am going to teach you about Office Central Global Configuration. Um, first of all, uh, I am going to log into the page v2.officecentral.asia. This is our page URL. Once you log into the page, give your email ID. So, uh, sign into the page. We having different login. It's like uh, your company having. Uh, uh, headquarters and uh, various branches so you can maintain all the logins in single username okay now I am logging to demo solution so this is our office central home page here you can see all our modules like HRMS, Payroll, Accounting, Finance, CRM, Procurement, Point of Sale. So before using these modules, we do some initial settings that is global configuration. So once you did all these settings, after that you can access these all softwares okay now go for the setting so first thing is you do the settings like documents documents is uh, you having a various documents you having some confidential documents so whatever the documents you can store here okay so just view list by viewing the already stored documents is uploaded by uh, the person and you can download here and you can edit or delete of series there and you can add new by clicking add uh, otherwise go to the document and new so by this you can add give the file name document 6 so some file so choose the file from the system like uh, for example you choose the file like invoice format and open now save so once you save this document it will be reflected in the view list so now you go back to the view list you can see the document 6 right so same the same uh, procedure to all, all the uh, modules like location with having view list are new and public holidays view list are new state holidays view list are new so everything having follow the same procedure uh, so location is like uh, if you are headquarters, headquarters, its head office is there and branches is there, so you can add the headquarters below the branches. You, in case you having a multiple branches, add new one again uh, under the headquarters. So this is simple one. So just you can view list and add new. So this is all the simple settings. So before you access the software, you you need to do this. So here you just give the location name and location code, description and the address of the location and week and week off and so it's a, some basic settings. So once you did and you can be listed on that location and, and same like uh, public holidays. So it depends upon the your country holidays you can add. Uh, like uh, Deepavali, Pongal, uh, Vijay Dasmi. So these are the holidays you can add. So uh, by clicking add, you can add the holidays. 
so just choosing the country and the name of the holiday maybe it's like new year and the date of the holiday date is on 1 january 1 new year holiday holiday okay now we we'll give submit so it will be reflected in the list so this is very simple and uh, it's also basic setting you must need to do it's all about your company holiday settings and also state holiday state holidays is same as like uh, uh, some local holidays or uh, some local state holidays so some in india there are different states the different holidays are there so you can uh, add the state holidays here like same like add new and add the state holidays and taxes so now the taxes are in single tax for india right gst so gst is the tax type you can create like gst is your own tax type and uh, below the gst you can add c gst s gst i gst so you can add like a tax type first and after that you add taxes by clicking add new so you can view the already added taxes here so depends upon your company uh, following taxes you can add here so okay next one is bank bank is like uh, some of the companies uh, uh, maintaining 3 to 4 bank accounts so some accounts useful for used for payroll process some account used for for uh, business process so you can depends upon that you can add here so by clicking the add so you give the name if the company account the name abcd maybe and so display name and give that and the address of the bank so everything about the your bank details so this bank details this bank account will be useful for payroll process or company account you can click s yes. so this is the process to add the bank account so just go back to list with the list view the bank accounts so same like currencies so in uh, currencies different countries are using different currencies so you can add depends upon your business you can add the currencies here so indian uh, rupee or uh, us dollar uh, or australian dollar so anything you can add so this is the basic setting first of all you need to do after that you go to the accounting account sorry account this having all about details about your account your this software account it's you can username is there you can able to change the username and change the password and uh, you can uh, also you can uh, change the email id and you you will uh, manage different account in the single software this is like uh, uh, if you having a uh, head office you having different branches so all the branches having a account so you can different uh, the login profile in the single software so this is the account and user user as i is simple it's like uh, if uh, our company having a different department different staffs so every staffs you are assign some um, user uh, assign right like uh, you giving uh, privileges to access this one for example hr department is giving access to hr uh, module and accounting department in, in case that accounting staff you give the account module so these type of here all flex users so these users access all the modules so you can restrict and role groups assign you can just choosing the staff and give the role assign for the particular staff for example anirudh the flex user actually but you can edit you can edit this user of uh, exe user also you can't able to in case you assign the role like uh, 
uh, for example you click on uh, hrms procurement payroll means these this person access these all the modules uh, for example this person not uh, tick all, uh, in case you tick this one and leave the payroll mean payroll can't able to access by the person for example here also this person can't able to view the list on advances and he, this uh, this particular stuff can't able to add uh, add new so you just uh, by tick or uh, untick you can assign the role for the particular stuff so this is all about user assign and the create or role groups so this is all about that that particular stuff will be access this one particular those stuff will be can't access this one Th that type of role assign and company profile company profile is simple one you just give basic details about your company it's about your company name registration number uh, phone number and email id of your company and address of, of your company and the logo logo of your company can upload it here it will be useful for your invoice processing and the quotation everything and uh, uh, gst number gst verified date gst effective date so your financial uh, bank account what is the account uh, you are using uh, for the transaction and language and cultures and these are the basic settings about your company all about your company uh, basic settings so after you do this settings report setting report setting is like for example in the crm we having a lot of reports like invoices quotation order acceptance order delivery so you need to having a some format right you some of the company want logo will be comes in right company name will be comes in left some of the companies uh, no need to put the logo on the only company name uh, some of the companies uh, uh, so every company depends upon the company needs that format will be changed right so depends upon the company you can change the format so this is uh, all about uh, report setting and it's not only for crm it's all for all the modules having some reports payroll having some salary slips uh, in, in finance having some claims and advances vouchers so all having some uh, format so you can access uh, settings here for uh, choosing the format for all the modules uh, reports okay and license credit license credit is all about your license uh, when the what is the expiry date what is the storage available uh, and the license available so all the basic settings so once you done all these basic settings from accounts to these settings uh, after that you can access uh, these modules such RMS, payroll, accounting, finance. So once you, this is the first step and basic one, uh, you need to give all the details about your own company, just a simple one. So just do all these settings before you accessing this software. So this is all about global configuration. Uh, so in future videos, I will cover all these modules such RMS, payroll. So hope I you learn how to do the settings in uh, global configuration. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I will meet you on uh, upcoming videos. Thank you.